in the last episode of Black Chicago be like, this man corporate put himself in the ultimate pickle, bro. This man had to go ahead and go take somebody out because the dude he snitched on kidnapped his daughter. And he said, yo, if you don't come kill this dude for me, something gonna happen to your daughter. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Well, corporate went ahead and did that. I'm gonna find out the dude he took out was Cookie's brother. So he asked us, should he come clean and tell Cookie everything? Or should he keep quiet and don't say nothing? I said, no matter how messed up the, the situation is messed up, but you really can't say nothing. I let it that he just keep his mouth shut. Take that to the grave. I ain't going to hold you. It's messed up. I, I know it's wrong, but that's what I, hey, shit. But let's see what y'all say. <laughs> let's see what y'all say. Show a lot of love to the video, like, share, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get it. And that's when I needed y'all help. Let's go. Well, the people have spoken. What y'all say? And y'all have elected for me to hold it down and keep it low. Say low. Like I said, it's so messed up. I know, I know, I know. It's wrong. He dead ass wrong for this. But you can't say nothing, bro. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta take that to the grave, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, ah. Damn, Cookie over there crying. Her brother, bro. It took me forever to calm that woman down. I bet. She actually cried herself to sleep. My undershirt was damp from her tears. Hmm. As I laid there with her head rested on my chest. Right. Flashbacks of her brother just kept replaying over and over again in my head. Yeah. The fact that I had legit whole murdered her sibling was haunting me well into my sleep. I'm sure. The next morning, I was up early. I decided to have some breakfast available for her once she woke up. Okay, okay. Cooking some breakfast. Hot stack of pancakes. Yeah. Got up. Situated with some eggs. On me, whip them eggs up. With cheese, eee, with the cheese, too. Didn't neglect to make sure that the meal was completed with some hot turkey sausage. Okay, turkey sausage. I ain't mad at it. Set up plate on the table. One too long. Why is there an odd number of sausage? Usually you do even. Pimping out of the room. Or maybe that's just me. I don't know. Seat. Putting some on the stomach, I know, will help her feel at least a little better. Just a little bit. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. <laughs> well, turkey sausage. <laughs> He's stupid as hell. She grand rising, baby. You fix me breakfast? Uh -huh. Somebody got better in the kitchen overnight? Yeah. I I don't know about being better in the kitchen. What that syrup at, though, for them pancakes? The pancakes dry. always pretty good with ordering on Uber Eats. Head ass. Look at him. Two cups of sealed syrup. And put it on a plate. Gee, you play so much. Thank <laughs> you, <baby>. Hey. Uh, <laughs> well, babe, I just want to start off by saying uh -huh. I'm sincerely sorry for your loss. Um, I can't say that I know what it feels like to lose a sibling. I can only imagine, uh -huh. but however, I'm trying to straighten this damn blue rag out. Tribute to the strength Here we go. that you need to be able to push through such a trying time. Uh -huh. I'm willing to do it. Yes, no question. You better do whatever you have to do. Cause... Looking up from her place, she that means so much to me. I appreciate you, babe. Uh -huh. I just can't fathom who would participate in such a heinous act. Heinous. He had just texted me yesterday saying he was finna drop some gifts off to his daughters. Damn, he did too. They took that man from his children. That man was skating around. His siblings. Learning how to skate so we could go through the little skate thing his with his daughter. Damn. I just don't understand. I know Corbin feel like shit. The flashbacks was beating me at this Damn. point. You hear me? Ah. I, I, I can't understand. Messed up part is he don't even got his daughter back yet. Some humans out here is just empty. Continuing with a deep sigh. You piling on I, too. Don't even talk about itself. Don't be a while before you can even find comfort again. Okay. I'm going to be by your side every step of the way, though. Better be. One day at a time. Yeah. Tears falling down her face. She, you right. 
one day at a time. Mm-hmm. Uh, we gonna make it through this together. I promise. Right after that, I hear her line going off in the room. She, hold on, baby. My phone ringing. Okay. She get up to go answer it. Right after that, my phone get the ringing. One. And who on the line? Jacques. Just oh, the person shit. I need to speak to. Okay, okay. Make sure she ain't coming out. Hello? Yeah. He, job well done. Yo, baby ready for pickup. I, bet. Text me the location. I'm going to hit you when I'm on my way. Okay. He, 10 4. Finna text it now. Right then, Cookie walked. Don't let it be no phone. bull, she, bro. Okay, daddy. I'll be there. And sit back down at the table. She, I need to go to my daddy house. All my brothers and everybody linking up over there. Makes sense. I, Makes sense. I 100% understand. Um, I got to bust a little move for my line today. But I'm going to slide over there with you. Um, we are going to go over there and be in their face. Your and your other brothers. She. Oh, I mean, that's the right thing to do, but it's like, damn. You want to just drop me off and keep the Tesla? Ah. Nah, that's cool. Bro. You got to put on one hell of a just poker face. Me up from over there. She. Okay. Let me text you the address so you can send it to him. Okay. I need to go on. Do something to this head so huh. we can go and get up out of here. Oh, me, they're gonna get their hair done. Go get herself young young bonnet, you know what I'm saying? I know a little something I about that bonnet sitting over there. Hey, I told you I'm locked oh, up right now, he. but Good I still got my starters. Jacques hit me. I need you to take because I already like wearing stuff on my directly on my head. That's it, been like that. I, I'm gonna text you the low to scoop me from. He bet I was too ready to get my baby back. Eventually, Max. we pop out and pull up to her pop's crib. She knock on the window. I, yeah. You okay? Baby? That's how I be. Niggas knocking on the window instead of the door. I, <laughs> I, I like your little nose accessory. You should get your sh- pierced for real. It's, it's new. She, thank you. I might. I. Did she not been had that? Something? Or am I tripping? She, yeah, what's I could up? be. Ah. I, I love you. She, I love you too. Dang. What looked like one of her brothers come open the door. He give her a tight hug. I can tell he was hurt. Damn. I love you so much, little brother. He, I love you too, big sister. Everybody in the back. She, oh yeah, this my boyfriend, Bartholomew. Nod and he, what up, dog? And then proceed to walk inside. Right, be glad, right, look. Man, That's what I'm talking about. At least he cool about it. As we walk into what the What other hot head brother that he almost got into it that one time? A living room. Whole bunch of hood niggas. Dead in my tracks. A Call of Duty gun was on the table. Boy. A sniper rifle on the TV stand. They ready to get it. Another rifle. One of her brothers was holding another semi-automatic weapon. Yeah. Everybody in there was clearly on go. They ready to get it. This my boyfriend Bartholomew. Nervously out blasting my condolences. One of her brothers, man, we in this be trying to grieve. Come on, bro. Around Chill out, shit. bro. Oh, we know he could have been the one that killed him. Ah, oh, that's fucked I, up. Nah, bro. <laughs> I'm just here for moral support. Come on, so corporate. You must be making me laugh right yeah. now, bro. Hey, man, whatever. <laughs> Wave me off. Her pops had his head down the whole time. He look up. Nice to meet you, young man. I appreciate it. Bro, I would have too much of a Last guilty conscience to even stand up in their face right brother, there, bro. Up, man. So what the fuck we finna do? We gotta get on motherfuckers' ass, bro. All this grieving shit ain't gonna solve nothing. I man. wouldn't even be able to sit it's right there. Trigger happy brother, he. Man, you already know what's going on. Jack on his way with some more straps. It's up there, stuck there. They don't even know who to go get though. More guns and more killing ain't gonna solve nothing either. Her brother, man, watch out. Two wrongs don't make it right, but it make it fair. Yo ass tweak. On that, her little brother. Nah, for real, big sister, somebody got an answer for this one. Bowed his head, cookie. Daddy. Looking up slowly, her pops. Baby girl. Look at him. They killed my son. He like, nope. In cold blood. Look at him. Shot my boy up and left him in the alley. Uh Uh-huh. For dead. We gonna spin these blocks. Damn. Until we get dizzy. And daddy on that, too. It's it's up. 
it's up, y'all. Y'all already know that. Look, the son's already on that, but on me, if the dad was like adamant enough about them not doing nothing, they might be able to find it in themselves to be like, all right, dad, I really want to get my, some revenge on whoever did that. But since you begging me not to do it, I ain't going to do it. You know what I'm saying? That's that's our brother, but that's your son. You feel me? But if daddy don't go too, there ain't nothing to talk about. Hey, dad said it's cool. Dad said it's go time. So it's go time. Ain't nothing you can say to me. <laughs> you wow. feel me? Ain't nothing you can say to me. We get dizzy. Ain't nothing else to say. It really ain't. Period. Dad ain't with it too. Dizzy. All the sons ain't never changing their mind. Her little brother get the breaking down. Bam. The other brother try to console him. Cookie go to try to give him a hug. Right after that, I get a text. I check my phone. It's Big Twan. He, I think I'm outside, bro. Okay. Hi. Hey, babe. Um, Big Twan outside. You know, I got to take care of that business for Milan. Deep sigh. I'm going to check on you later. She. Okay, my love. Her other brother. Man, she with her brothers, man. She good. Get your bitch ass on somewhere. <laughs> Aggressive as hell. Right, you gotta let it slide though, bro. Yeah, you can't say nothing. Your emotions all over the place. Yeah, on me. And you the nigga that did. You can't say nothing. You can't say nothing. I bop out. Where the other brother at? That was in the one. That was in the one part. Super eager to get to my daughter. He wasn't up in there. I could only imagine how distraught my baby is. Big Twine. Where we pulling up to? I look down at my phone. I. The address that he sent me is to this restaurant called Wilma's. Cookie just had me to go up there and get us some chicken. Facts, facts. He, all right. Cause that's I was just what gonna say. Him. He definitely just went there. We pull up to Wilma's family. Wilma's. Ah, right. I'm finna hit him up and let him know we outside. That chicken was looking good when she was eating it in that one part, boy. That was the last part, wasn't it? Yeah. No, that was the part before that. Hey, I'm here. Where you at? He, I had to make a move the whole time. Hmm? But my sister in there with your daughter right now. Ah, right. what okay. you mean? Man, man, who is that? He. Damn, chill, bro. You good? They in there. Nigga, hit me back after you get her. It really don't matter. I, she in as long as you recognize your daughter. I, he say his sister in there. Let's just see what's to it. And immediately pop out the cop. Come on, none of that even know. Hopefully it wasn't no funny bitch. Yeah, don't be no mess, bro. It was going to be smoke in the city if so. After all this. We bop inside of Wilma's. Come on. I'm not knowing what to expect. Let's go. As soon as we get in, I see my child. I, Milan. She, hey, daddy, waving happily, confused. I, yes. Are you okay? Eating good. She, I'm okay, dad. A woman stand up. She, hi, you must be Jacques Friend. I'm his sister. How you doing? Jacques Friend. Skeptical AF. I, I'm okay. She, K, okay, well, here's your baby's clothes. Had to get an outfit. Didn't want to wear the same thing as yesterday, you know? I, blessings. Okay. She turned to Milan. Damn, Good she, chicken. Let me see if I can get her some napkins. She Good fries. Food. You know what I'm saying? Good soda. Then she walk over to the counter. Ho, I ain't gonna lie to you. Twine. Damn. Right? She walked back over to my line. Hey, chill out, though. Wipe her face. But y'all get back on that. Turning back to me, she. Oh, and she loves chicken from Wilma's. I'm pretty <laughs> sure you're gonna have to bring her back. Real Facts. Soon. I want some. Ask Jacques' sister. What you was over there eating, little Bert? Look at this nigga. Oh, I just had the catfish dinner. Looked it good, too. Okay, catfish dinner. Look, catfish. Can I have some? Manish? Ah, can you give us one Bro, second? watch out. Turn around and talk to Big Twan. Twan, he, come on, man. Twan, bro. Ah, you do remember her brother kidnapped my offspring. Mm hmm He, well, see, last week I went to church and learned about forgiveness. Oh, I'm my God. Have God did, <laughs> Shut up, nigga. <laughs> You're not my friend anymore. <laughs> hey, bro, you see her? She got this whole little Jada Pinkett thing going. I'm trying to get entangled. This I, nigga's stupid. Go. This meeting is adjourned. Oh, me. And then turn back around. <laughs> Milan, daddy, daddy, I forgot to tell you. My tooth came out and pulled out. Oh, damn. Tooth. Oh, your tooth came out, baby? Jacques' sister. Yep, she bit it to a cookie and it came right out. Milan. And TT braided my hair, too. But they had her chilling. She's so precious. Ah, bless us. Okay. Thank you. At least they was treating her good while she you was know, with him. To put a coat on so we can go. They made it a point to not even let you know what I'm saying. Let it be known what's really going on. A tight hug. Ah, thank you. She. All right, now y'all be safe and stay dangerous. 
fake devious eye for sure okay Damn, know. we ain't at least get the chicken. But I want them to question, guys. It's still chicken on that table. <laughs> you gotta take the rest of that. I was in great spirits. Yeah. Tuan, the golden egg has been secured. Yes. Let's get it. Factory. That sh was weird as hell, though. Jacques told me to hit him after we get Milan, so I'm finna see what he's talking about. Okay. I call him. Ah, yeah. I got him. He. See? Everything good, right? Bro. It's good. What he got planned, bro? See? Was your daughter not well taken care of? Okay. I, it appears she was. He was. He was. He. Come on, man. <laughs> Anything less would have been uncivilized. <laughs> I, I hear you. All right. He. But I mean, in general, you know, I hope you learned a valuable lesson. Don't right? snitch. I ain't had nothing to say. Don't it snitch. Was what it was. He. You be safe and stay dangerous, brother. Okay. Deep side. Uh, I'm just glad that's over. Yeah. He, for sure. Where well, I'm finna drop y'all off at? Right after that, I get a call. Ah. Who this? It's my BM. I answer. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ah, uh, hello. She. How my baby doing? Whole body uh, in the camera. She know what she doing. I've been better. But thank you for asking. Hey, hey that. She, I was talking about my daughter. <laughs> I, oh. Nah, she good. Why you ask? She, whole time. I know she with a daddy right now, but my sister in town that want to spend some time with her, and I want to check and make sure that was okay with you. Ah, okay. Oh no, it's all good. When she was trying to get her, she, ASAP. You could bring her home right now. Ah, all right, we on the way. Okay. She, cool. Turning a big twine. Ah, whole time. I need you to slap me by my baby mama crib right quick so I could drop my line off. All yeah. right. I bet I got you. Everything's smooth line. right now, bro. Ain't nothing bro. too crazy really going Yo, on. Ask. You spent some time at one of my auntie's cribs. Yo, auntie crib. But that's only if she asks, okay? She. Okay, daddy. That's the last thing I needed was for her mama to find out she got a little ass abducted. I swear. Don't say nothing, please. My BM crib. Mm-mm. Of course, my line hop right into her arms. Yeah. She take her. We step inside. My BM asks Milan, did you have fun with your daddy? Milan look at me. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Spend some time at Come my on, Milan. And everything. Come on, Milan. Beating on my Don't sell. My BM sister come down the stairs. She, Who that? Is that TT, baby? Milan, TT. And jump down and go give I up. I see they related. Big twine. Huh. Hey, TT. This nigga twine trying to hurt everybody. Sister. Boy, knock it the fuck off. <laughs> Big ain't nothing wrong with a little spicy. I like hot sauce on my chicken, bark. Look at that. Well, she anyway. Come upstairs with TT. Let me get my jacket so we can go. Okay. And took my line upstairs. Pulling. Crazy how waggers can be in my place DNA. Wax. My BM. So what we finna eat for dinner, baby daddy? Ah, I'm finna go. What you mean? What we on finna me. eat for dinner? You can't. She. You forgot what I said? I need to see you too, Nick. Nah. -uh. She did express no, just no. After what you just did, I corporate, you gotta stay low to cookie. Gone. You yeah, can't do like it. No, no, it ain't. The next moment after, my BM sister come down the stairs with my line. Come on, corporate. She, All right, I'm gonna hit you when we get home. You don't have to pack up bags. Corporate, do the right thing, bro. See you later. Come on, man. Big Twine instantly get on her bumper. All the way out the door. He, little baby, <laughs> little baby. My BM. Watch I out, bro. Go ahead and step out too. Drive safely. He. Tuh. I'd have been kicked out of better places. Go on, hit my line, bro. <laughs> and made his exit. My BM was something else. Come on, corporate. Do the right thing. We end up having some fire conversation, though. Okay. Just talking about general shit. Little conversation. All right. Kicking it hard as hell. Yeah. She in the dying laughing. I'm in up playing too much. Mm -hmm. Naturally. How it used to be. This nigga's stupid, it bro. Good, <laughs> we all through the crib, talking and chatting. Oh, and she getting touchy. She Didn't getting touchy. That's how we was moving around. Uh huh. She, okay, let's have a confession session. A I, confession session. A confession session. Man, I'm not gonna play with you. It was giving setup. Hmm. She, nah, for real. I felt like we had a point where we mature and we should be able to talk about anything. It's not like we together. You don't agree? Hmm. I, I mean, I get it, but why you want to participate in this type of activity? Confession session. She, 
maybe I'm interested in us having a stronger relationship. Nah. Even if we don't end up being exclusive again. We don't need that. We should still be friends. Y'all gonna be cool. Y'all gonna be cool. We do have a whole child together. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Me and Cordial. I mean. Me and cool. I guess that makes sense. She, all right, you go first. Anything you I mean, want I normally be against, against being friends with your ex, but in this I, situation, y'all got a well, kid well, together. Y'all got a, y'all got a you know, co-parent anyway. Born, you had to so why not? Be in the hospital for a, to make things for smoother. A week so they could make sure everything was good with you and her. Okay. Having that high-risk pregnancy and all. Okay. Stressed. I, a couple of those days you was in there, deep breath. You cheated. it. I was I was hitting Katrina. She. This don't even matter, bro. Work those days. Why y'all even talking about this? I, this a confession session, ain't it? Oh my god! Doing nothing less than what I was told to do. She. Okay. Now you finna be hurt. Yep. Your you turn. Your homie Brian. Uh huh. Look at you. With? Look at you. When we was into it, I let him take me on a date. A date. We ain't do nothing to nothing, but yeah. Crying real tears. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, nigga. I was hurt, bro. Don't ever do this, bro. Ha ha, boy, she. You gonna be more hurt than hurt. Don't ever do this right here. I'm just being honest. Hey, that crying real tears go hard. That's like corporate song if y'all ain't heard it. Honest. That mother go crazy. Okay. Featuring Brazil Marie. Real nigga activity. Yeah. I just had to ask at that point, though. So let me guess. Yo, Newt D. Brooks. <laughs> he better than me, too? Oh, I don't ask that Play question. Comparing y'all is like comparing Biggie and Pop. Both y'all is the best at what y'all be on. An answer I had to accept. Nah. I, I feel it. She. I'm the one. Last time you had my car, you nah. was rich, wasn't you? She must have felt it in her spirit. Yep. Clairvoyant activity. I remember that. I most definitely was. Didn't even get none, though. That's the crazy part. So I. Didn't even get none. Facts. She. Used to be texting just in the shower, didn't you? Yeah. Knowing damn well I ain't had Apple Care. Risking my phone trying to set up plays. You hear me? BM was on fire. That's definitely goofy. I, perhaps. She, is this really so bad? You being honest with me and I'm taking it like a champ. You ain't got no choice now. Y'all not together. Nah, you would have took it like that back then. So what is it that you see in D. Brooks? Like, oh, you got she, uh, I mean, he treat me better. He got money, and he bought me a Range Rover. Ooh, I, er. I saw one when I pulled up. That was Josh. Yeah, she, the dark gray one. Mm -hmm. Sport. Yeah, that's me. He I, bought it for okay. her. That's crazy. Soldier boy activity. I did it first. <laughs> I didn't bought you a car before. Yeah, that. Oh, saying she. Oh, you talking about the one you bought me a couple years ago? The one you stopped paying a note on? Oh, I still got that repossession on my credit, by the way. Damn. I had the Jeremiah Phillips face. She <laughs> Ugly as hell. No, but for real, though, I like D. Brooks. And it seemed like you really like Cookie. I respect what you got going on, and I'm glad you do the same for me. Okay. Uh, do I got much of a choice? Shit, she was the one broke up with me. Right after that, she get a text message. From who? She look at her phone and then start SMHing. I, what? What's your problem? She. I forgot D. Brooks told me he was going to stop by for a second. Uh, okay. Okay. We'll send that back from whence he came. Bro, cool? come on, she, bro. He only finna stop by for a second. Come on, man. Get off that. Nigga, I, leave. Yeah, all right. You finna have to call the police on me again. Oh, my was God. Not playing, Why? And the same cops to come get me. Why? You, know, friends? you hear me? She, come on, man, that's lame as hell. I ain't try to be messy with Cookie after I cracked you in her bed. <laughs> Love to make a point when they need to make a point. She ain't lying. But leave, corporate, just leave. I promise you gonna be cool. Oh, you about to stay there? I'm not, I'm right. not staying there. I'm not staying right. there. She, okay, I'm gonna be right back. And got up to go meet him outside or downstairs, I guess. This shit's stupid. She go open the door. This is so stupid. He step in. They hug up or whatever. I know you're over here, ex-boyfriend, but I no, forgot I that I said my no, current boyfriend was going to come over here. Oh, babe, I missed you too. Here I am. He. How much? Here I am words looking at. Words can't express. He. Shit, well, words can't express. Actions can. Shit, Damn. That's so. He. 
whole time. That's why we finna go upstairs. Fuck turn around. Look at him. And turned around to close the door. Now matter how you finna feel when he go up in the room and he's sitting up in there. Yeah, all right. And took her hand and led her upstairs. Dog. What? And Dirk voice. This is so stupid. This it. situation is completely avoidable, bro. What room this is? I ain't never been in there. Corporate, it's your fault. I'm hearing them. She. Oh, that's just my guest room, babe. He. Oh yeah, shit. We finna bless that motherfucker good in. Oh my so god. Toward the room I'm in. I'm hearing they steps coming toward the door. Not his goofy ass, and I have to hide. Oh my god, bro. Under the little sofa couch that we had in there. This is stupid. Fuzzy slippers. You know what? And all YG Fazos come strolling across the car. Corporate, you did this one to yourself. Yeah, thinking I ain't never observing this visual. You did it to yourself. Yeah. She, babe, we can't just wait till tomorrow when you got more time. He, yeah, tomorrow, and I promise you, tweak and start kicking his shoes off. And they're getting butt naked. I'm under the bed, like, just dip me in and roll me in breadcrumbs. You got to deal with that now. Never happening. How your little he, skinny ass do a full know? turnover under the she, bed? No, it's not that. I would have made it a fit under that bed, let alone roll over. I know you don't come on to the middle of the month, so what's to you? Oh, she, man. Nothing, babe. Nothing's to me. He, I right, then, baby, show me how much you miss me. She gave in and slowly started walking them over to the bed. You got to at this point. You got to deal Next with that. You know? <laughs> I see his pants dropping to around You gonna his have table. to deal with that corporate. It's your fault. Stepping right up out of him. Yeah. Um, nah, you ain't gonna give it to me like this. Yeah, he is. Deal with that. Right after that, <laughs> draws fall by his ankles. Straight draws. He kick him to the side. You gonna keep the socks on too. Lord, take me. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all. I need your help. What? Y'all see this shit? This man is in here bending my BM. Now, what am I supposed to do? Sit your ass under there and shut up. Yes. And just let her rock with what she got going on? Yes. Well, come from up under this bed and turn up. No, you ain't got no reason to. You shouldn't even be there. And on the next episode of Black Shop will be like part 105. Part and he's still hood, 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 hood. See what's up. Yeah. Let me know. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> hey, I, I've said it enough times, so y'all already know my opinion on it. This is what corporate get. He put himself in a situation. He shouldn't even be there this long. This is what he get. You got to deal with that, bro. That's my favorite line. I love saying it to people. Something happened to them, to tell, like, you know what I'm saying? Something happened to somebody and they put themselves in a situation. My answer is, hey, <laughs> you're going to have to deal with that. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Ain't nobody, got no, ain't nobody got no answer for you. I ain't got no help for you. You put yourself in a predicament. You gonna have to deal with that, corporate. You shouldn't even be there. But look, listen. He clapping. He already made clap. You know what I'm saying? Sit there, sit, lay up, lay up under that bed. Wait till he get done. Wait till he fall asleep or something, and then sneak out. Hey man, I hope y'all really enjoyed this video, bro, as much as I did. Make sure y'all stay tuned for the next part. I wonder what's gonna happen over there at Cookie Spot, bro. Over with Cookie Brothers and whatnot. Next few parts about to get crazy. I can already tell. But at least his daughter is safe. Got her locked in. We good. Make sure you show a lot of love to this video. Like, share, and subscribe. The next time we up out of this thing, this is with Dara. We signing out. Hey.